Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Paduino, Distinguished Teaching Professor of Physics. And I'm Dan Dazarn, Director of Sustainability at SUNY Geneseo. We'd like to take a moment to tell you about our energy garden, also known as the e-garden. The e-garden is a collaborative effort between college faculty, facility services, students, staff, administrators, campus auxiliary services, and the Office of Sustainability. It's an integrated effort using the skills and knowledge of the campus community to educate students and a means to construct a working facility that runs off-grid. Approximately 15 to 20 students a semester work on a variety of eGarden projects. More than half of those students are science majors. During the summer months, six to 12 students perform research there. The eGarden is located on a one-acre plot on the northwest side of campus. It operates primarily off-grid and acts as a sustainability demonstration project. It's also a learning facility for students and a research field station for faculty and local entrepreneurs. The eGarden has a 12-foot diameter wind turbine atop a 60-foot high steel monopole that produces up to 3.5 kilowatts in 12 mile an hour winds. A 6 kilowatt solar water heating system capable of generating 250 degree coolant temperatures and twin 1.2 kilowatt sun tracking photovoltaic solar panel arrays. Two 300 watt solar air heaters have been designed, built, and operated by students to aid in the heating of a student built 6 by 10 foot greenhouse. The e barn currently houses three 48 volt deep cycle wet lead acid battery banks, power converters, inverters, computers and other electronic devices for monitoring and controlling the facility's energy collection and use. The e-barn is also used as a hub for our campus composting program. Student interns collect organic waste from residence halls, lecture halls, and dining halls. The food waste is collected and delivered by a diesel pickup truck and electric carts. The carts are charged with renewable energy in the e-garden and the truck will soon run on biodiesel fuel produced from waste cooking oil collected from the dining halls. The excess cooking oil will be converted into biodiesel fuel to be used on campus. In addition, the chemical conversion of algae into biofuel is also under study. Three electric vehicles, two gem cars, and a converted club car are in use in the e-garden. A study is currently underway to determine the most efficient way to drive the club car by monitoring the power output and the energy usage as a function of its speed, load, and path inclination. The eGarden Group also has a solar cooker, which has been used to demonstrate sustainable cooking on the campus quad to the student population. The eGarden recently produced 50 pounds of garlic scapes and 175 pounds of garlic bulbs from just 30 pounds of starter bulbs in its organic garden. The organic garlic was used for cooking purposes in the campus dining halls. The project demonstrates the viability of a farm-to-table method of producing sustainable food with minimal transportation needs, improved freshness, better quality, and reduced pesticide use. During the spring of 2018, the organic garden was doubled in size. Additional vegetables will be grown there and eaten in the dining halls in the autumn of 2019. During the summer of 2018, the students of the eGarden research team proposed building a tiny house village which would be located next to the e-garden. The tiny house village would allow five pairs of students to live in five tiny houses for two week intervals. After vacating them, a new set of five pairs would occupy the village. This would allow upwards of 300 students per year to experience life in a community that is sustainable and uses less electricity and heat and water to operate, thus reducing the carbon impact on the environment. These projects serve several purposes. Education, research, creativity, practical application, invention, and better ways to be sustainable.